What's going on YouTube? It's the Monopoly Man James and in today's video I'm going to be talking about how you can get started in real estate investing. Stay tuned. Alright, so how you get started in real estate investing. First of all, you need to identify a market, right? You need to identify a city, an area um, where you live, maybe out of state. Do some research, find out what city um, that you would like to invest in. Some cities will have different ROIs, some cities will be more cash flow than appreciation, but that's all That's all really your how you're gonna go about investing. So guys, after you figure out what market you are going to be investing in, you are gonna want to call all, not, not all, but two, three, maybe even four different real estate agents in that market. The reason being is because some, also you want to do it in different companies. So, you know, some real estate agents will work for a specific broker. You're going to want to get different real estate agents from different brokers. Um, so the reason for that being is because in my experience, I have noticed that I get some emails quicker than other uh, real estate agents. So for me, I have three real estate agents in the Oklahoma City, Oklahoma area. And one of them, the emails come in maybe 10 minutes quicker. That 10 minutes is very crucial because on my last property that I did in Indianapolis, um, I got an email from my realtor. He told me, well, I got the email, right? And when it came through, I went back and I did some numbers and whenever I was running my numbers, I kind of figure out, figured out that it was under contract already. Well, I contacted my, my real estate agent, realtor, whatever, and he got back to me and was like, no, it just hit the market. Uh, the, the previous people that had it under contract, uh, they backed out of the deal. So I went in, I was like, hey, go take a look at this property because I am an out of state investor. So I was like, Hey man, can you go do this for me? He went, he did it within the hour, took videos, pictures. I made an, uh, made an offer right then and there. Unfortunately, they were telling me they're going to wait 24 hours to get all the offers. Knowing that knowing the house was worth a lot more than what they were asking for. I decided to go about $5,000 over what they were asking with, it was, I think, I believe $3,500 in, uh, in closing costs. They came back to me uh, within the hour. I was like, hey, we would strongly consider this offer if we did uh, the $5,000 over with $2,500 in closing. I was like, that's a thousand dollar difference. That's Yes, let's do it. Um, they still waited the 24 hours, got different offers. I still be uh, everyone. Um, most people probably didn't do the research like I did. The house was worth $105,000. I got it for $90,000 and the asking price was $85,000. That all comes from my real estate agent sending me quick emails. I know they're automatic, but I don't know if it's like some sort of connection issue with the internet or with my email and their emails, but just have different real estate agents uh, in the same market sending you sending you emails um, automatically. So when you call them up, you want to call them and be like, "Hey, can you um, you know just talk with them first? Let, let them know who you are, what, uh, what you're trying to do, and uh, ask if you can get set up on a uh, an automatic email update." And what that will do will be like, hey, I'm looking for a three bed, two bath, um, single family house, this many square feet in this part of the neighborhood. You don't have to go that specific in, in a specific neighborhood, but um, those are just some things you can tell the, the real estate agent to do and they will do that for you. So when you let them know all the things um, that you are looking for, uh, then you're going to start seeing emails uh, every hour, every day depending on what market you're in hey if you're enjoying some of the information that i'm providing you 
would you please uh, drop a like and subscribe to my channel? I am just starting out. Um, I have a lot of information to help you guys with. I have put in my 10,000 hours. Um, if you don't know what that is, it, uh, I don't believe, I don't know who exactly said it, but he said it takes about 10,000 hours to master your craft. And I have put in my 10,000 10, hours worth of uh, researching, um, looking at markets, etc. So if you could, please help out the channel and subscribe. While you are, um, get, you're getting set up for that the automatic email change, you're also going to want to look for places on like Zillow. Uh, another good one is Trulia. Trulia also gives you a, a neighborhood crime rate. Um, that's one of my sources that I go to to see what type of neighborhood this uh, this specific investment property is in. <clears throat> uh, another good one is realtor.com. I hardly ever use that, um, but on some platforms there are houses on there and there's some houses that aren't on another one. Um, or it just takes a little bit for them to to update and synchronize with one another. Okay guys, so the fourth um, the fourth thing you're gonna wanna do to finally get started in real estate investing, you are going to want to find the house, run the numbers. So the, the program that I use, website I use to run my rent numbers is uh, rentometer.com. Um, you get, I believe, five free trials um, and it'll it'll tell you what the average rent will go for in that specific neighborhood for that house for that square footage etc um, that's the main one that I use for that um, <clears throat> so whenever you're wanting to find a deal meaning you're wanting to find a house um, that has equity in it like the house that I just bought in Indianapolis right um, I bought it for 90 and it's worth 105. You're going to want to have that real estate agent that sent you the, the email listing, go to them or call them up, email them like, Hey, can you run a comparable or a CMA comparable market analysis? And what that does is it's going to pull houses from, uh, a, a mile, two mile, three mile radius and it's going to compare similarities in the house, right? So if you're the house that you are wanting to buy as an investment property, it has a garage. Uh, They're going to look for a house that has a garage. Uh, it's gonna, uh, if your house has three, three bed, two bath, the comparables are gonna have three bed, two baths, theoretically, um, if your real estate agent is sending you correct comparables and that's on you to see if the comparables are accurate, right? So once the comparables come back, uh, for simplicity's sake, say the house you are buying is $100,000. So that's the asking price, um, and that's what you are offering. And the house is worth, or your comparables are coming back 120,000, 118,000, 122,000. Take the average of those, and you got what your average uh, comps are running for. Um, so you can safely assume that that house is going to be worth, uh, or is worth $120,000. All right, guys, the fifth and final thing you're gonna want to do whenever you're finally getting started in real estate investing is you're gonna wanna submit an offer. Um, don't lowball someone when you know that that house already has a ton of equity in it, right? Um, on a side note, bef before submitting an offer, while you are looking for houses, you are going to want to contact a bunch of lenders, a um, bunch of mortgage brokers, and see if you can get a pre-approval letter for a certain amount. So the house that me and my wife in right now, um, we went to our mortgage broker and we're like, hey, you know, what can we afford? What can we get? What, how much money can we spend? Um, with my, my income, my wife's income, my broker came back and was like, you can basically get any house you want inside of this city. 
Also, whenever you get that pre-approval letter, um, it's it's kind of one upping some of the competition that doesn't have it. So the pre-approval letter is just saying you're approved for this amount of money, right? And um, they're just saying, or the bank is saying, yes, we will lend him or her this amount of money. So whenever the, the seller sees that, they know it's a guarantee that, basically a guarantee that you will come through and you will be able to get the finances you need to close on this house. So you need to be doing all this while you are looking for houses, just so it will give you a leg up, it will speed up the process of, of, of closing on the house and closing on your very first rental property. Okay guys, that was the end of my very first YouTube video. Um, I have a lot to give, like I said before, um, but if you could just drop a comment down below and ask a question. Um, let me know what value you have got from all this information that I've given you. Um, if you have a question, like I said, put it in the comments down below. Uh, this is the Monopoly Man, James, and I'm out. See you in the next one.